we debated a bit on whether or not we should share this story with you. It's very emotional, very real, and very raw. But this little community had already touched our heart a little bit. We stayed here a lot longer than we stay in most places. And then we came back. Um, and came back to this poor little community dealing with a, a tragedy. So, we've decided we are going to share it with you. Hi everyone, my name's Kurt. And Snow and I are traveling the world in a van. And after about two years of being on the road, we found ourselves in a place called El Tunco, El Salvador. As soon as we arrived here in El Tunco, Snow and I both knew that this was just one of the coolest, nicest, most beautiful beaches we've ever seen. I mean, if you look along the shoreline, you have these big, beautiful rocks, the waves. Every once in a while, you can look up and see the whales. You have a south-facing beach so you get beautiful sunrises and sunsets the people are beautiful and they have just such unique culture here and the surfers and there's so many surfers along here because there's just perpetual beautiful waves and all the other things I mentioned so last Wednesday night We'd walked right out here to this little beachfront restaurant that's right next to the hostel we're camping at. We're sitting out on the little deck watching the surfers and watching the sunset. I told Kurt, I said, Kurt, go get your camera. So let's get some shots from this deck of the surfers. So he did, he went, he came back with the, with the big camera. And I was telling him this story about um, a neighbor of ours back in Orlando, a young lady named Megan Ethel, who had just posted a video on YouTube. And Megan is like uh, the number one or the top three, I don't know her current standings, but for many years the number one female wakeboarder in the world. And we lived on a lake and you know she lived two houses over and we watched all the hard work she put in and the dedication she put in to being a female in a male dominated sport. And, and she broke through and now she's She's a role model to young girls all around the world. And she had just done a YouTube video in partnership with Mastercraft. And I can't remember the hashtag, if it was let her ride or let her rip. I think it's let her ride. And um, she was telling her story about how she grew up and, and, and being in a sport that's male dominated, but how she's proud of what she had done. And right about that time, I saw this surfer coming up onto the beach. She just looked like she owned her board the way she stared out at the ocean you know I was just like Kurt let's you know, watch her so we turned the camera on her Snow and I are sitting up there and this girl confidently walks down to the beach with her surfboard she straps up her leash she looks out at these big giant ferocious waves and just jumps in like nothing she just paddled out this young woman just paddled out so strong and immediately jumped up on the board rode the first wave in as soon as the wave gave out she jumped off and swam back out to catch another one and she just did that for hours and she was like one of the best surfers I've ever seen 100% but whenever she jumped down you could just see a glow a smile on her face the whole entire time she was out there, like that was where she was, that, like that's where she belonged. And the next day, we packed up and we left El Tunco, which is definitely one of our favorite, favorite campsites for this entire journey. And we had this master plan to go do all this stuff. And we got two or three days away. But some of our plans started to change. You know, they're fluid, how we travel. And we just said, you know what, let's go back to El Tunco for a few days. So we drove five hours to come back to this place. And we had already been here for over a week because something about it is special. It is a, an El Salvadorian tourist destination, a world-class surf spot, but it's also a small town with a small town charm. And when we came back, we heard absolutely devastating news. They had lost a hometown hero and it just happened to be that little surfer girl 
that we had videoed the Wednesday before we left. On Friday, she was struck by lightning while surfing right out front. And the community is devastated. She was practicing for the Olympic trials that are coming up here at this beach in May. She was definitely an Olympic hopeful for El Salvador and a role model to little girls all around the world who want to surf but have been told or have seen so many men surfing or boys surfing instead of girls. From the beach you could see her big smile and you could just feel her spirit and her aura and really when I talked to the local people who live here and who knew her and grew up with her and went to school with her and watched her grow up, when I talked to those people, they were all just devastated. And it was like a part of the community died. Just two days after this video shot, she was fatally struck by lightning. It wasn't raining that day. It really wasn't even clouds in the sky. And a single strike of lightning came down, struck her carbon board. And El Tunco instantly had another angel. I talked to a few of the locals who knew her, who grew up with her, who watched her grow up. And they told me that her spirit was bigger than El Tunco. Her spirit, her beauty was bigger than surfing. And it was just a glow that infected the whole sport and in essence, the whole world. She was just a beautiful person. And with all the hope and the anticipation of the Olympics and all the accompanying events, the whole community was just cheering her on. And so right now, the whole entire community is mourning her loss, but everyone agrees that she was doing what she loved and what her, what, what her passion was. So we stumbled up just in time to the very next day witness this amazing memorial they've done for her. But it's, it's current news, guys. So she was, um, she was an up and coming, one of the best surfers there is and was expected to go to the Olympics. And she definitely, we had someone tell us her spirit was too big for this world. So, and the only good thing you can say about this is that she died doing what she absolutely loved doing. And to see this amazing tribute, you know just how special she was. So hopefully her memories will continue to inspire young little girl surfers around the world or young little girl motorcycle racers or race car drivers or wakeboarders like Megan Ethel, our friend from back home. But let her ride. <coughs> So I'm here at the ceremony and I'm going to tell you there's probably about 200 surfers here would be my guess showing up here to pay their last respects. A lot of the surfers are carrying flowers.
There they go. They have formed their circle. They're kicking. They're doing some splash in the water I wish I could see. Uh, but they definitely had a planned tribute for her. And you can hear them yelling. What a beautiful tribute. If you liked this video, be sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when we put out new videos. To see behind the scenes action and help support our journey, head over to our YouTube membership page. You can find the link in the video description. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in a few days.